opinion. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the Nerf Ultra Faro. not trying to shoot my brand new freaking lens. Thanks Ultra for missing the target by two and a half feet. Holy f <laughs> Moving down to the trigger, this is a semi-automatic blaster, but it has a very heavy gritty feel because you are manually moving the rotating cylinder with the trigger pull. And I had a few feeding hiccups, so the trigger feel just is not great. However, the blaster is compatible with the Ultra Faro Ultra Magazine. So I'm hoping this is the standardized Ultra Magazine, which should be cross compatible, crossing my fingers. With Ultra, I would honestly not be surprised if they came out with a proprietary magazine that's not compatible with the other Ultra Blasters. Many months later. However, this is a totally new magazine design. It is not compatible with standard Ultra Magazine magazines, and this magazine does not go into any other Ultra Blaster. Here, it's a super wide, very vague sight, which is perfectly appropriate for Ultra Blasters. Oh, burn. Because it's inaccurate. You don't want accurate sights on an inaccurate blaster. <laughs> this is a mechanically operated semi-auto system. It feels similar to a Strife. However, just like other Ultra Blasters, the trigger feel is pretty heavy and very gritty. It doesn't feel as silky smooth as a Strife, and especially compared to Dart Zone Blasters. This is very heavy and gritty. Your mechanism feels similar to other Ultra Blasters, which is not the best. It's kind of gritty. It's heavy. It's just kind of sloppy. And the Accuracy, just like every other Ultra Blaster, is pretty bad. You can't really hit anything you're aiming at consistently. But if for some reason you want to be able to shoot a little bit further than the Elite guys, but not hit anything, you know, Ultra might be for you. So to buy or not to buy, I still don't see any reason to buy an Ultra Blaster, including this one. If you want performance, buy a Rival Blaster or learn to mod a Nerf Elite Blaster and fire Waffle Head darts out of that blaster. Or you don't even have to mod. Go buy an Adventure Force Spectrum and you're going to outperform this thing and it's cheaper. But it does as advertised and I did not have any catastrophic malfunctions. So if you're really into Ultra for whatever reason, um, there's no objective reason to avoid purchasing this one, except for all of the objective reasons I just told you regarding its performance. It's not objective. What if you're playing to miss like a stormtrooper? Maybe consider this blaster. <laughs> I can't get through this review. Just scrap my whole personal opinion from this video. The summary of this blaster is, it's not that bad. <laughs> Ultra. And now down to the grip. This grip is in line with other Ultra Blasters on the market. If your alien hands happen to feel comfortable on some Ultra Blasters, I don't believe you, but if it does, this one will also feel comfortable.